Um, I do have something called PCOS which causes my hair to thin and fall out. I started to wear a wig topper about two years ago and I became obsessed with them. They make me feel so much more confident and they're really great because they are human hair. For my personal preference, I can wear them in very hot weather and I barely like notice the difference between my hair and then the wig topper. Let me show you guys Stella. So let's unbox it. So I've already worn this one a few times because I wanted to do an honest review. I've been testing it for about two weeks and it comes packaged like this. And then inside you have your wig topper. This is what the wig topper looks like. This is Stella. So as you can see, she's pretty long. As I said, I believe this one is 16 inches and they sent it to me in the color natural black. On their website, if you look at the different color selections, there are quite a few color selections, but this one is one that you can bleach, you can dye it. It has a part. I did part it differently than what it came in the package and I did curl it a little bit. One, two, and three, four clips. And then this is the silk top. I did add a little bit of concealer right here on the scalp. I've done that with other like wigs that I've had and other wig toppers, but I actually prefer it without the concealer. I feel like it looks more realistic just the way that it is. So I don't recommend putting the concealer on this specific wig topper on the silk because you can actually like see it through and it just doesn't look great. So I did move the part over a little bit. That was my bad. So as you can see, it does look a lot like a real scalp. The one thing I like about wig toppers too is you can part it anywhere you want and you have scalp everywhere. This one I feel like breathes a little bit better than the one that I'm wearing now. So this is what my hair looks like without a wig topper. It's pretty thin on top. I know you can't tell like a lot that my hair is really thin. So let's go ahead and let's put on the Stella wig topper. All you do is take the Stella, you flip it over and you can match it up with your part um, I don't have much of a part right now because I have the L'Oreal stuff on, but you kind of just match it up with your part. I pull mine all the way forward because my hair, my bald spots are right in the front of my hair. That's where my hair is the thinnest. So I pull it all the way to the front of my head. You don't necessarily have to do that, but I prefer to do that. And all you do is take it, clip the one side down, pull the other side. I like to pull it pretty tight. It's a little bit stretchy. Pull the other side and then clip the two back clips and boom, we are ready to go. It's also really great, even if you don't have thin hair like me, even if you just like don't wanna have to do your hair a lot, they are expensive, but these are so quick. So like if you are running late and you don't have time to like do your hair, you can just do this and your hair can be like messy and oily underneath. It just kind of covers up a bad hair day and makes you look like you have like really thick, luxurious hair and you don't, it's a wig topper. I am seriously obsessed with wig toppers. I really hope to work with, you know, wigs in the future because I would love to share more styles with you guys. They have so many different styles of wig toppers. They have different colors to the point where I wear them pretty much every single day. And I love it. It makes me feel more confident and I feel like it can make you guys feel a lot more confident if you have the same sort of issues that I have with my hair. Remember, be your own kind of beautiful and toodles for now. I whip my hair back and forth. I whip my hair back and forth. I whip my hair back and forth. Yeah.